Hello Stratters, Dan here, playing Murasa Tron in Pauper. My opponent will be Bronners. I kind of miss the old rug, rug Tron way of things like resolving Fangra Marauders and such. Very nice, but uh, Murasa changed, Pulsar Murasa changed all of that. I am playing first, I got three lands and an expedition map. So I will remember what XTO2 said. And start with Swiftwater Cliffs. That feels totally unnatural, but we want blue and red mana to be able to keep up the control game. And I have to be faster than last time. So next turn we can dispel, we can flame slash, and we can play expedition map. Uh, interesting. Blossoming Sands tells me it's hexproof or something like that, which should be incredibly bad for me. Uh, so does Tron even help there? Well, I guess it can't be bad. But we are really ill-equipped to fight that in the first... It's not... Bogles is not in the list, right? Oh, it is! And it's one of the worst matchups. XTO2 is confident in the matchup, but uh, his record is bad. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. He had two Serene Hearts in the sideboard for a while, but he doesn't anymore. Well, we're gonna get to Tron. Yee Counter Ethereal Armor and Mask. Capsize the Auras. <laughs> but uh, we don't have uh, a counter spell. And that thing we couldn't have countered anyway. So we're just gonna take the pain and accept it. Be part of it. And go dig up the Ursa land, but it really doesn't do much. And digging up capsize and being able to use it, that's gonna take forever. And I don't have forever. Mnemonic wall on what? We're not getting anywhere. We don't have anything. But we do have Tron. So we bring in Remove Soul, we bring in Electric, we bring in a Moments Piece. Moments Piece will of course help quite a bit. But this match is lost to us. We do have, this is the first time the sideboard plan applies totally, which is good. Okay, so I guess we are dead. Uh, GG was what I meant to write and on to the second game. Okay, bring in Serene Heart, Moments Peace, Electric Remove Soul, take out Magma Spray, two Flame Slash, one Bolt. Why do we keep the last Flame Slash? Because we have nothing. Uh, if you know they don't run Flame Pain, you can cut the Dispel. Same is true for Orlag like Gnarlin and Flame Slash, but we don't know that. Um, so we, our plan is to moments peace until we can capsize them. Or yes, teachings up serene heart, which is not an instant, so that doesn't work. It is an instant. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so this is what he's saying. Okay, I can't read it to you now. 
If you have a mediocre draw, sometimes it can be worth uh, bluffing electricity. Interesting. This is not much, is it? Can I really keep this? Nothing happens here. I think I have to throw this away. I do want some sideboard cards, right? I'm gonna mulligan this. And here I have electricity, but no way to cast it. Oh, there is a way to cast it. I'm gonna keep this. Keep the prism. Or not. It's turn three electric. I have turn three electric. I do, I do, anyway, with prismatic lamps, I'm gonna bottom that. And I'm gonna play it on with false prismatic lens. I have turned three electric. Green. Which doesn't feel like something amazing, but maybe it will be. Turn three electric, here I come. Okay, we have it next turn. Let's walker. Okay, if he plays uh, ethereal armor on this guy, we're doomed. And of course he does. So, uh, well, thank you for the coffee. Now what? Why didn't I play my expedition map? I have no excuse for that. Is there any use keeping up electricity? Uh, I don't know. I am gonna play this and hope I draw into something. That can actually help me. I guess I'm taking the mine. And uh, now he's free to just destroy me. And now, of course, it would have been great if I had played my expedition map. But still, I don't have any... Uh, anything good to use against him. Ledge Walker. Okay, great, I can kill that. Uh, I put myself in quite a stupid spot here. I have to get out the expedition map. And I have to be able to play electric, so I'm not gonna do anything else. I can play electricery and use the expedition map. Well, death will come faster to the unprepared. Uh, oh, I can't block that guy. Okay, so I guess I'm casting electricery now. I need to save that for the for the the chance that I find capsize. And now I'm digging up a power plant. Can this work out? I don't think so. Digging power plant. But it's all for naught. 
Hej Tron. Okej, okay, maybe I should keep green mana because I could get into the uh, moment's piece plan. And I'm just gonna go for the card row here. So I can try to find something useful. And I do not find anything useful. Okay, I'm gonna take seven. So next turn I need to can't block. These guys can't block. Oh, we can still block Glade Cover Scout. Yes. But I can take this damage. And now I need to draw something that changes the situation. Well, capsize would be absolutely amazing here. Or Serene Heart. But I find Prohibit. One, two, three damage, but I can't do four to Glade Cover Scout. So I will now block and do Electricery and I will prohibit something. And I will live to see another card. Uh, okay. Take it out. And then I wish I could block and kill it, but I can't. I'm wishing will get us nowhere, so I have to block. Do you have anything playable? You have that guy. And I think we have to prohibit him. Does he make any difference? He is a vessel for rancor. Uh, mnemonic wall. Mnemonic wall for electricery. So we can draw capsize and live. And I'll block with mnemonic wall. Which means I can attack <laughs> for. And if he has anything, I die. I should have stayed back. No, he's not going to increase. We could have a rank or but it would increase power. Yeah, I should have stayed back so I could block with the Seagate Oracle as well. But he just doesn't draw any business. So we live to see another turn. Mute any growth. No. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. So he attacks. We destroy all auras. And we block. Yes, block. 
Okay, and we have electric protection. And we have a pulse of Marasa, which we are going to use. So I will pulse the prohibit this way. And I think I'm safe. Uh, do I just take Serene Heart? I think I do. Or is it the prohibit? Yep, <laughs> that worked. Let's see if we can do that magic again. It is quite interesting, we don't have ghostly flicker. But XTO2 has made some very, very deep choices here. He, ha he played the deck for four months when he wrote this primer. I'll link to it in the show notes. And I'm quite impressed. Well written primer. Well worthy of being an heir to the four, the four year old <laughs> holder uh, trailer. Uh, ah, I can't speak today. Uh, primer by Avignon for Ragtron in Popper. Okay, can I actually defeat Hexproof? That would be awesome. I'm sure I'm gonna screw it up. I did mulligan something which had no way out, but here I have um, Moment Space. So I'm gonna keep it. I really feel I want the Ursa Lands out now, but remember what he said. First Swiftwater Cliffs. Then the Prism. But then it looks tough. Uh oh, the beatdown begins. Remember, we can bluff. Uh, Electric as well. Katush works pretty nicely. And we just... Hard to keep two mana up for a bluff. Not dead yet. But soon we will be. So Grotto evoke Maldrifter. And hope we don't die. And then we're stuck in Moments Peace land for a while. We will die in two turns, I think. He doesn't have any more mana. Will he kill us next turn? I don't think so. I don't think he can do 50 next turn. Can he do that? Well, Ancestral Mass can. Let's do the math properly. Ancestral Masks add 6. And one more for Ethereal Armor. That's 13, right? Which does not kill me. Am I doing the math correctly here? 6 power, Ancestral Mask. Or maybe he plays 1... One land enchantment ancestral mask, but that requires three. Ancestral mask adds six. Ethereal armor adds one. It's Thirteen. I yet draw breath. So I will risk playing something. And I'm gonna play a blocker. And I'm looking for tower. Uh, remove soul seems great, but way too late. 
And then we will be stuck in Moment's Peace land. For two turns. And then we will be dead. Uh, okay. Yeah, we seem to live yet another turn. So we got moments peace remove soul. That's not very powerful. Unless we draw the tower. We draw no tower. But I still want to be able to Moments piece here. Uh, I mean, remove soul. One card left. He plays Ancestral Mask, which uh, makes no difference. Really? And we are in fog hell. And it's not gonna last. Look at that baby. <laughs> we cannot do both. Oh, but they all die. We still take three. So next turn we play Maldrifter and Block. And we are safe. Right, we can't both cast Mormon's Peace and Serene Heart. So we might as well play this. And Serene Heart will remove most things that are dangerous. Uh, green. Oh, it's do I fog? I think I actually fog here. I'm not. No, I'm serene oaring thing. But if it has one ore of any kind, then I. Die horribly. I want to see him play a creature here. But he plays an aura. Which puts us in a terrible situation. Except that we have wall. So we got to keep up the six mana. We're going to wall Serene Heart. <sighs> and hope that works. Is that really correct? No, we, we are gonna moments piece. We're gonna mull drifter and moments piece again, right? That's what we're gonna do. Nice. Three mana. I want another mana so I can wall Serene Heart. I 
Okay, I have no choice. I have to use it. Oh, look at that. That's sweet. Uh, now we can really play chill. Now I'm just gonna moment's peace. Electricery. Or can I moment's peace wall? No, I really can't. So I'm just gonna moment's peace and not much else. Because I do want to get the bogle as well. Right, so I can just chill here. Moment's peace. I need the nine mana to do it all. Hmm. <laughs> Teachings. Okay, now I can definitely do it all. <laughs> God, I'm so stupid. Seven. And I have to... <laughs> I can wall get the serene heart. But then you can get yes. And now I'm blocking the mnemonic wall. I'm walking with mnemonic wall. I'm taking the other two. So I can end the turn with Serene Heart. So you can't play another enchantment. And here it comes. Did you see what I did there? There we go. And then we <laughs> get the tower. Play electricery. Lay down the law. With the Mulrifter. And keep up the remove soul. I have five mana left. Yeah, that's uh, that's the game, I think. We can also do teachings here. For something. He has four cards. He plays Abundant Growth, so that's okay. And I get to do teachings for a counter spell for remove soul, I guess. Oh, for electricery. Did not think that one through. Here's another mine. We can now do 7, 8, 11, 9 damage. So we play this guy. We have a moment's piece in the graveyard as well. And all is good in the world. I'm getting a tower. 
did play a land, right? I think we did. Yes. Okay, we're keeping up remove soul and prohibit. And we don't have enough mana to do teachings. So now we have 8, 11, 12, 15, 16. So we can do 14 damage with the big spell. So we're just gonna sit back and do some teachings this turn. And next turn we can kill him. Look at that irritating card. Let's use it now. Let's use it at the end of his turn. That is uh, nasty. That is overkill. And I can't help myself. Uh. How much fun is this? Yeah. Whoa, we did it. We couldn't beat control because of last week, but we did beat Bogles. Thank you for watching. Check out the link in the show notes for, for the great uh, primer.